her and her friends came to me very upset. I'm just, someone has to do something. Someone has to speak for these kids. Something else has parents in one upstate school district outraged tonight. An anonymous Instagram page targeted their children, bullying them, even telling one student to go hang himself. Mike Benzoni is talking with parents tonight about these online attacks in a story you'll see only on 7. Mike. Well, Tom, the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office stepped in and investigated, and we just learned the school district identified the student behind the page and suspended him for 10 days. That's according to the Sheriff's Office. Uh, the parents I talked with say they first discovered this page a couple days ago, and both of them tell me this kind of anonymous bullying just goes way too far. It's hateful. This right. woman. I'm furious. And this woman were so afraid their children could be next, they didn't want us to show their faces. She was very upset. She was crying, wanting to know why does, why does this keep happening. But they want everyone to know what this Instagram page did to kids at Rainbow Lake Middle School in Chesney. Making fun of the way that she looks, um, the way that she acts, and she's scared. Spartanburg County deputies say a student ran the page and filled it with photos of children taken offline who resembled other students. The student who created the account was known only by the username RLMS Gator Mystery. He made fun of other students' weight, looks, and in one case, even wrote that another student, quote, should just hang himself right now. That student saw the post and responded, asking, quote, what would you do if I actually killed myself? They have no care for what they do to people. I'm scared that some child may end up really hurting themselves. You can't tell a child to hang themselves and think that they're not going to question what they should do. One parent says her daughter saw comments about herself on the page the other night. She couldn't understand why somebody would do that to her. You know, why does this keep happening? Investigators say they decided not to charge the student because they say he ran the page and posted comments using his personal Instagram account. That Instagram page you just saw there was taken down late this afternoon. I reached out to Spartanburg School District 2 several times today, but I haven't heard back. Tom? Looking into this, under South Carolina law, all public schools must have policies that prohibit bullying and other forms of harassment. A warning.